Today, I'm answering your questions about resin kits while I finish up the main body of the Force Impulse Conversion Kit. Jamie asked, Are conversion kits forgiving to work with in case you make a mistake, and would you recommend them for beginners? To answer his first question, I think resin kits are less forgiving than normal Bandai kits, and here's why. Unlike plastic kits that can bend or warp when not handled properly, resin kits are a little bit tougher, but that makes them more brittle and likely to snap or crack when too much force is applied. Because of this, I also feel like resin kits aren't meant for people who are just starting out. However, if you're comfortable with the skills that I'm about to go through, then maybe a resin kit is a possibility for you. Number one is painting. Resin kits are not color separated like Bandai plastic, so it's important that you learn how to paint your kits. Under the umbrella of painting, I also include masking and being able to mask your parts as an essential skill for painting. If you need some help or you just wanna save some time on masking, check out the video that I made on how to mask your resin kits where you can learn how to mask or you can pick up the new and easy way to mask your resin kits. Number two is surface preparation. Proper surface prep is essential to make sure that your paint adheres, but it's also essential to make sure that you don't accidentally erase all of the fine surface detail that your kit has to offer. This also includes knowing how to remove pore tabs and weld lines, so be sure to take some time to learn how to care for your resin kits before diving right in. Number three is mistake recovery. Working with resin kits are gonna be very different from Bandai kits, and therefore the troubleshooting issues are gonna be very different as well. Knowing how to rejoin pieces or pin and weld pegs aren't exactly necessary, but they could be great skills to have when things go wrong. If you feel comfortable doing these three things, then you can head on over to the Gundam Score to check out their selection of resin kits. And thank you, Jamie, for submitting your question. Next up, Millennial Model Mayhem asked, are there resin conversion kits that are a small amount of parts to modify, or are they all total conversions? Most resin kits are gonna convert large majorities of the body, but some resin kits are gonna convert more than others. Keep in mind, you can also retain some of the original parts if you want, but if you want to dip your toes into some resin without committing to a full build, check out companies like Studio Gundam who are making detail or add-on parts that are fully resin and ready to go. Thank you so much, Liam, for the question. And for any of my viewers who are looking to get into hand brushing, head on over to his channel for some awesome Gunpla content with a unique hand brush flair. Drift SE2 Gaming asked how to safely handle resin kits and all the precautions that you need to take. The biggest safety concern comes when you're sanding your resin kits. As you send the parts of your kit, resin particles become airborne, and these particles can be very toxic to your body. There are two ways resin kit builders like to minimize these effects, so let's go ahead and get right into those. The first approach is gonna be wet sanding. Now, I'm not familiar with wet sanding myself, but you can check out the many videos on YouTube to teach you guys how to properly wet sand your resin kits. The second way is gonna be more akin to painting. Reason being is that because the resin particles become airborne just like paint does, we're going to approach this in the same way using the proper protective equipment as well as proper ventilation. Since painting your resin kits are going to be an absolute must, I highly recommend picking up a respirator for your resin kits and be sure you pick up a spray boost so you're able to vent out the fumes as you begin working on your resin kits and painting them up. If you already have a paint booth but need a little bit more power, you can always set up your vacuum or you can purchase a desktop vac like this Hobby Meal vacuum that I use in the video here. If you want to pick up one of these desktop vacuums for yourself, head on over to MidwestHobbyandCraft.com and also thank you Drift SC2 Gaming for your question. Next, Quipiran asked, how much sanding do you need to get a good finish? The truth is it's kind of hard to say, but a good rule of thumb is to make sure that your primer adheres without any problems. After you soak, wash, and gently sand your kits, go ahead and apply your first layer of primer and let it cure for 24 hours. Once your pieces are cured, stick a piece of masking tape to your parts and see if you peel up any primer. If any other primer comes up, go ahead and sand the piece down a little bit more and then go ahead and repeat the process until none of the primer gets peeled up. Thank you Kipirin for your question. And finally, Dilpo asked, after primer, when is it safe to mask? This question is more about paint than it is so much about the resin kits. Now generally, I recommend 24 hours because most paint should be cured by then. However, if you're using lacquers like me, you might be able to get away with about six to eight hours of letting your paint cure. If you're ever unsure, it's always safer to wait a little bit of extra time, but if you feel comfortable and you feel confident in your paints, hey, don't let me stop you. Thank you so much, Dilpo, for the question, and I hope I said your name right. And finally, I want to say a thank you to all of my viewers. Just recently, my channel has hit two years old, and I want to say thank you guys all for all the time that you guys have given me and all the feedback and comments that have helped my channel to really grow. I wouldn't be where I am without you guys today, so I really wanna take some time to say thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope you guys continue to find some value in my videos and remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next one.